So here's all the tools and materials you're going to need in order to make this paper airplane launcher. You'll need a ruler, a pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife, two of these red wires, an on and off switch, two DC motors that are wired together. There's two wires going across from each motor. There's wire from the positive to the negative and negative to the positive with two other wires going out from one of them a LiPo battery that is about 3.7 volts, two of these flywheels that will be going on to the DC motors to spin the airplane, a hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks, a soldering iron with some soldering lead, and also a piece of cardboard that I've drawn all the measurements on it and all the pieces that we'll need to cut out. And this is so you can take a look at all the measurements that I've written down here. Now we're going to glue these two triangles to the bottom board that measures 21 and a half centimeters by 11 and a half. Now I'm going to glue this cardboard piece on that measures five and a half centimeters by 11 and a half. We're going to glue it on right. Here. Now using your X-Acto knife, you're going to make two holes right here. There we go. And this is where our DC motors will be sitting. So now we're going to glue these two DC motors to the holes. We're going to flip it around, take our hot glue gun, pour some hot glue here, and then put the DC motors on like that. <laughs> Once you got this done, turn it around, put your two flywheel plastic thingies. I took these from a Nerf gun blaster. And if you don't have these, just use a bottle cap, a couple of bottle caps. So we're going to place it on just like that. Oh yeah, and make sure they're no more than a millimeter apart from each other, these two flywheels. So they'll be spinning opposite directions. So now I'll be wiring this red wire, or pink wire I have here, to the positive end on the battery. Just like that. And then once you have that done, you'll be wiring this wire to the negative wire that comes from the DC motor. And then we're going to attach the positive wire from the DC motor to one of the other ends on the switch. And then you're going to take your other wire and you're going to connect it up to your switch and then to the battery. And then take this wire and wire it to the negative end on the battery. There we go. Now you might want to take your soldering iron and soldering lead and solder all the joints that we just connected up. So as you can see over here, I just finished soldering all the parts, basically all the connections right here. And to prevent from getting short circuits, I do recommend wrapping them separately up in electrical tape. So over here, now you're going to take everything that you just did, built here, and flip it upside down, but first of all, you gotta push the switch through this hole here, so it pops out on the other side. Make sure you make the hole so that it fits the switch. It's very important. Just like that. Very important is that you glue it as well. So I'm gonna take some glue and glue it in right there. Just like that. And then you may also wanna glue the battery down right here because it might wobble around a lot. 
So I'm gonna glue it right here. And the next step is we're gonna close it all up. And to do that, we're gonna have to put glue all around the edges. Let's do that. So now we're going to glue these two aligners on so when you're pushing the airplane through, paper airplane, it's not going to go sideways and it'll go much straighter. So they'll be sitting like right about here. Let's glue them on. There we go. So now our paper airplane launcher is complete. Thanks for watching guys! See you next week! Peace!